bad day yoga is when you buy like a new camera and it doesn't work. Or everybody is just being such an a-hole. You can do yoga and it'll make it better. It's really kind of amazing. Don't knock over the camera. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. If the dog knocks over the camera, that is gonna just be exactly how my day is going. Inhale arms over your head. Exhale hands to your heart. Inhale arms over your head. I made up a new thing. It's a seated sun salute. Swan dive. Forward bend like this. Take your shoulders back. We do this in the standing sun salute when we come into a forward bend, but we're not coming into a forward bend. We're taking our hands to our knees. Inhale, roll the shoulder blades down the back. And come into your cow lift. Pressing the belly forward, pressing the shoulders back. Chin comes up out of your chest. Exhale, cat tuck. Everything reverses. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift, take your hands to your heart. Inhale and back over your head. Exhale into your heart. Again, inhale, arms over your head. And then this time, cross your left leg over your right leg. Turn both legs in the direction of your chair. Grab the back of your chair to a stall. Yoga can fix bad days. It really can. Not within the first minute, but I bet if I can make it through 20 minutes of this, I bet I'll feel better. Roll your shoulder blades down your back. Take your chin up high. Look over your shoulder. Make your eyes go even further to the right. Kind of doing a 360 with our spine here. And then take that back arm up across the sky. Cross your elbows. Wrap your arms around each other. See my eagle? Does it look like an eagle? It's eagle arms, eagle legs. See how I did this extra twist around here? Inhale straight up. Exhale straight down. Inhale up and find a little back bend. And then exhale down and release your shoulders and take your legs apart. Why? I love this one. Legs apart. Whoa! There's my day for you. Don't let your chair do that. Take your legs bar wide. Gosh, that was unsettling. So maybe I shouldn't have you do that. Maybe you should take your um, feet to the floor and have them be like this. That's all right. If you feel in any way unsafe on your chair, if you feel like your chair might do what my chair just did, then go like this instead. Release your adductors with the support of your elbows and your knees. Release your lower back. Trying to do this in a different chair every day, and some chairs are better at yoga than others. Good. Inhale. Uh, you stay there. Stay there. Keep doing that. I'm just checking my camera. All right. So far, so good. Camera's still working. Not good. Here's where we were. All right. Take your feet together. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms over your head. Here's my new move. Ready? Swan dive forward bend. So you're taking your taking your hands apart like this and like like you're doing a swan dive, like you were coming down in a sun salute. But you're taking your hands to your knees instead, rolling your shoulder blades back and down the back, inhaling your chin up. Exhale. Cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. And give it a huge wave with the spine. Inhale, cow lift. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, um, back this way. Now wait a second, keep them, keep them up, sorry. Wrap your legs around your legs. Right over left, turn in the direction of your chair. Grab the back of your chair and twist. And then take your eyes and make them go all the way to the left. Over your shoulder. Stretching inside your face. Face yoga is a thing, in case you haven't heard of face yoga, it's a thing. I know a little bit about it and I'm going to incorporate a little bit in this chair 
class as I start to develop it. It's really simple and really complicated at the same time. Take your back hand and sweep it across the ceiling. Come back forward. Wrap your arms around each other. Your legs are wrapped around each other for some reason. To the ancient yogis, this resembled an eagle. Inhale your arms straight up. Exhale them straight down. Inhale them up, and then this time stays as your back bend. And then release that. Take your legs apart. Come on down. If you're in a slippy chair like me, make sure your feet are stable on the ground. Press your elbows into your knees and your knees into your elbows. And not for the purpose of getting into the knees, but for the purpose of getting into the adductors. Make sure you're not feeling your knees. Maybe you have a desk, and if you do, you might want to lean on your desk. That would feel good. And then come on up and walk your legs forward a little bit. Let's see if my chair will let me do this. I'm going to take my palms and put them down kind of under my hips. Almost under my hips. And then I'm going to come on up into a chair, I mean a table, upward tabletop. Big shoulder stretch. If you want, you can let your neck go. If you want, you can don't let your chair or slow it out, but walk your legs forward. And now, now it feels good to let your neck go. You can bend your elbows if you want. Do a couple of these things. <clears throat> They're hard. One more. Sometimes the hard stuff is what you want when you're having a bad day. Walk your feet back in. Sit back down on your chair. Let's do some uh, hip openers. So here's what you're gonna do. Take your left knee and point it forward on your chair. Okay? And then take your right knee. Now make sure you're in a, like a stable chair, one that doesn't roll. Mine slides, but it doesn't roll. And I've got some good room here. I don't have arms. That's nice. But even if you have arms, I bet you could work this in. Just try it. And of course, if you can't get both legs up, just get one. But if you've got both of them up, you can feel what we're trying to do here. We are getting in the hips. And that's it. This is a forward bend. And if you are very flexible, you can bend forward and maybe lean on your desk. But really, I'm relatively flexible and I can feel it even sitting bolt up right here. I can feel it. So just feel it. That's what we're trying to do. I like to take my hands on top of my feet when I do this pose. It's called shoelace. Pick up your shoulders and roll them down the back. Pick up your chin. Think about the insides of your hips. And then, as usual, when I do this pose, I forgot to get anything like a strap. You'll need a strap, but luckily you're at your desk, and so you can just grab any old thing. And I'm going to grab, checking on my camera as I do this. All right, looking like it's working. I'm going to grab this shirt that's sitting right here. So I've got a shirt. I'm getting back in my knot. Take your shirt or whatever you got in your left hand. Take that left arm forward, up and back. Take your right hand, grab your left elbow and wiggle in to the shoulder. Ow. And if you accidentally got yourself in an uncomfortable position in your chair, you don't have to wait it out. You don't have to like feel bad. Just change your position. And then take your right arm around and back and grab your strap or your fingertips if you're pretty flexible on the shoulders. Most people like a strap here. I can just grab my fingertips, but I like the strap anyway. And then study this pose from the inside. We really, really have tied ourselves in two knots. Think about why we would have done that. Why would we have done that? You might can tilt your chin up just a little bit.
Yoga fixes things. It fixes things like bad days, it does. All right, release that. Let's do some core work. Untangle yourself, disentangle yourself, lift up your legs. All right, let's do it like this. Come to the edge of your chair and lift them up like that. Or bend them and lift them up like this. Maybe that's better. One way or another, we're finding the core here. If you're lucky like me and you've got no arms on your chair, then you can come to the side and find a for real Navasana boat pose. Or maybe if you're super strong, you can come down and hover your hollow body. Come on up. Hover one way or other. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which boat pose looks like. Just find something that makes you feel challenged in your core and hold it and find your breath and be there. And roll your shoulder blades down and back. Take your chin up and out of your chest. And then come back to center. And let's take our right foot. Grab your t-shirt or whatever you're using as a strap. Put your right knee forward. Left leg goes on top of it. I'm thinking about office chairs. I'm wondering what you guys are sitting in. If it rolls or it's padded, or it bounces, which is the majority of office chairs. That might be a whole other experience. I guess I should try that. Take your strap in your right hand. Take your right hand forward, up, and back. Take your left hand around and grab that strap. I'm remembering now that we did shoelace without the arms for a minute or so before we got into this on the other side, so this time we'll do cow face first and then shoelace. So feel all of the myriad complexity of this pose. It's kind of staggering. Shoulders stretching in different directions. Hips are both stretching. Remember, if you feel this in your knee, if you feel this or anything in your knee, you gotta um, move around and unfeel it in your knee. That's important. If your knee is like, hey, I like this stretch, Nope, nope. That means you're hurting your knee. Those ligaments in your knee are, are really fragile. Gotta be careful. A pose like this, we do it, we put our knee in this position for the one and only reason of getting into our hip. That's where you wanna feel it. Feel it in your knee, change it. That's a lesson I learned the hard way. That's why I can say it. All right, so let go of those arms. And we owe ourselves a little bit of shoelace here. So I like to I like to have my hands on my feet and shoelace. Maybe try that. Give yourself a little foot massage. Something like 40,000 nerve endings on the bottom of the feet. In Chinese medicine, of course, they use the feet as like portals to access all parts of the body. It's really interesting. Good. All right. Come gently out of that. Come to the edge of the chair. Put your feet on the floor. Take your arms out in front of you, and then come on up into a chair. And no, we're not really doing chair yoga if our no body part is touching the chair. This is exactly what this pose would look like on a mat. But because maybe because it's called chair, we can say this is chair yoga. It is chair yoga. Really working the legs here. The legs should really feel like they're working. And the core. And sit back down. Take your legs apart. Come on down. Remember this? When I fell off my chair? Remember that? Come down carefully. And put your hands on the floor if they'll go. And if they don't, put them on your desk. We're going to twist from this position. 
taking the right hand to the floor or to the center of your desk. Lift up the left hand. On a desk, this, I guess, would look like this. Twisting. And if you want to get deeper on this twist, you can take your right hand and grab your left ankle. And get, whoa, really deep in. Good. Take your left hand to the floor or to your desk. And this time I'm going to walk us in with a little more anatomical precision. Take your right hand to your waist. Roll your right shoulder blade down and back, back and down the back. Pick up your right hand. Try to make a line between our left hand and our right hand. So think about it. Uh, oh, I, I forgot. If you want to make it deeper, then grab your right ankle with your left hand. Maybe like that. I'm not sure if I like it. The jury's out for me. kind of like it. Good. Really settle that. Put your hands back on the floor. And then take your hands to your knees. And then let's walk our feet closer to each other on the floor. And inhale to a cow lift. In fact, let's take our hands behind us and roll the shoulder blades together and take your chin up and out of your chest. This is a seated cobra pose. And then maybe walk your feet apart. I'm making this up as I go. And come forward between your legs, picking your arms up all over your head. And let's take our right uh, ankle to the left knee. Settle yourself. Find some alignment between this knee and this ankle, and this knee and this ankle. And then come down over it. Here's your chair pigeon. So I've done it every day for, I don't know, however long I've been filming this, 10 days or whatever, in a different chair every time. And it feels different depending on the chair. So if you have the ability to change chairs, maybe try this one day in one chair and one day in the next until you find your perfect chair. Go sit back and then pick up that right foot like this. Here's hair and pose. And we are stretching the hamstrings and the calves. Something sticky on my chair. And remember the strap blue t-shirt or whatever you got as your strap, put it around your foot, roll your shoulder blades back and down the back. The purpose of the strap is not to make this into like a junior varsity version of this pose. The purpose of the strap is to help you get in here. That's all we're trying to do. It's not about touching toes. No part in yoga is about touching toes. We're really just, we're just trying to find that release. And so if you're feeling release, you are doing it right. Feel your hamstrings, feel your calves releasing. Good, let go out of that. And then take that right foot to the ground. Pick up your left foot, put it on your right knee. Find, find a square, a right angle from here to here. One side, I mean, and then right angle, ankle to knee, and then come on forward. And if you've got a desk and you want to lean on your desk, then great. And you want to drop your head, it feels good to drop your head.
All right, last one. Last one, and then we're done. Take your strap around your left foot. Extend your left foot up. Uh, roll your shoulder blades back and down the back. Release your hamstrings. Release your calf muscles. Flex your foot if you want to. Flexing your foot's going to get you deeper into that calf. Ooh. Take your strap to the side. Take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. Inhale arms over your head. Exhale into your heart. Did it. I feel better. A little bit. Thank you for doing yoga. Thank you for doing yoga with me. Namaste.